Gloria Ramirez was rushed to the hospital after experiencing a rapid heart rate, a drop in blood pressure, and an inability to form coherent sentences. Gloria was 31 years old and was diagnosed with cervical cancer, which was assumed to be the reason for her deteriorating condition. As doctors worked to save her life, they noticed an odd, oily sheen on her body and smelled a fruity, garlicky scent coming from her mouth. When they collected a blood sample, they noticed it smelled like ammonia and had manila-colored particles floating in it. The medical staff in the room began to faint one after another. Others had difficulty breathing, and one nurse experienced paralysis. Sadly, Gloria died that night. Three autopsies had to be done on her, and hazmat suits had to be worn when inspecting her body. While there's a lot of speculation on what caused her death and how being around her triggered ailments for the medical staff, county officials concluded that Ramirez died of cancer-related kidney and heart failure. In 1931, Dr. Carl Tanzler fell in love with Maria, one of his patients with tuberculosis. When she died, he got her family's blessing to purchase an expensive mausoleum for Maria to be buried in. He was the only one with a key to unlock it. Carl spent the next two years visiting Maria every single night. His desire to have her closer pushed him to steal the decaying body and keep it in his home. Because Maria had been dead for two years, Carl had to provide extensive upkeep for the body. He used coat hangers and wires to stabilize her skeleton frame, packed her torso with rags to keep its natural shape and drenched her in perfume to keep her stench at bay. For the next seven years, Carl and Maria's corpse were inseparable, even sleeping in the same bed. Everyone started to become suspicious of the reclusive man who was seen buying women's clothes and dancing with what appeared to be a giant doll. Maria's sister eventually visited Carl's home and discovered what he had done. Carl was arrested for grave robbing, but he dodged jail time since the statute of limitations on his crime had expired. These royals were the real-life mommy dearest, Maria Eleanor, a married King Gustavus Adolphus of Sweden, and the two went on to have three daughters, with only one surviving past childhood. Since Maria was tasked with producing a male heir, only giving birth to girls made her furious, and she took it out on their surviving daughter, Christina. Maria would, on several occasions, drop her or push her down the stairs. The mother-daughter relationship never got better, especially after the king died in battle. Maria would continue to torment Christina and would leave her in dark rooms for an insane amount of time and tell her to grieve her father. It got so bad that Maria was forbidden to be near her daughter and was imprisoned at Gripshone Castle. Christina was placed in the care of her aunt and went on to become queen, but stepped down a few years later and left Sweden. While Maria died at age 55, still distraught over her husband's death and angry at Christina's life, 